And for more, we welcome former Secret Service agent Evie Pomporis. Uh, really looking forward to your take here. So, Evie, how does this happen? How does cocaine get into the West Wing of the White House? So you're looking at a really small packet of cocaine, something that you can fit in your pocket. It's one of those small packets, those clear plastic bags. So it's a personal storage, personal, a personal, personal amount, not a large amount. So when you go through security, security is designed to look for weapons, uh, to look for any chem chemical, biological agents. That's what security is designed for. So if a staff member or a guest of a staff member had it in their pocket and brought it in, that's not something that they can pick up. So the substance, as you know, was found near an entrance for visitors who are taking tours. Can you walk us through what visitors have to do in order to enter the West Wing? Okay, so I do want to be clear that we don't know if it is a visitor. So it's possible that's either staff bringing a visitor in, which if a visitor comes or a guest comes, they're supposed to be escorted by staff. People aren't allowed to walk around freely in the West Wing. Or it could be a staff member as well. So those are the two probably very likely ideas or incidents that we're looking at here. So now if somebody is coming through as a guest, they should be. Protocol is everybody should be checked. A criminal check, a background check uh, is usually done for anybody getting a tour. Then that person is cleared. They come at the date and time of their tour, and then they go through security. At security, it's a regular security checkpoint. I can't get into the details of it, but they're checking for weapons. They're checking for any type of biological chemical agents on you, things that are really of harm. Once you clear that checkpoint and you're escorted, then you're brought in by somebody by staff. But that area that we're talking about is an area, yes, what the press secretary said, it is a highly trafficked area. But again, people that traffic that area have already been screened. Also, there, if somebody's bringing somebody in as staff, it could be a guest of staff. So there should be consequences because you're either looking at a staff person who brought somebody in who should know who they're bringing in or a staff person themselves. And if they are found out, then that person should deal with the disciplinary actions, if not formally charged for it. So, Evie, what is the Secret Service doing right now? Are they reviewing security camera footage, entrance logs? What comes next? They're going to be reviewing everything that they can. They're going to be looking at the logs. They're going to be looking at everything. At the time of the incident, when the packet was found, when it was, again, a really small packet. So I, the likely scenarios are either the person went to take their phone, phone out to store it and that packet fell out, or the likely scenario is they went to take it out, empty their pockets, and they realized, oh, my goodness, look what I have on me, and they accidentally pulled it out. And it was uniform division that found it as they were doing their patrol in that area. Now, the service is going to look at the camera footage. They're going to look at everything that they can to try to find that person. One of the difficulties is there's a lot of traffic and movement in that area. Also, although a lot of people may like to think that there's cameras everywhere within the White House, and again, without disclosing those classified or intimate details, it's also the White House internally. So you're, there are some areas where you want some security um, or lack of um, camera systems there, so to speak. Evie, do you think they know who this is and they aren't revealing the identity? I think that they're working very hard and I think that there's a lot of movement, and especially if during that time there were tours, which there were. So you're dealing with two possibilities. Tours, people coming in to do a West Wing tour, so that's an influx of people, or a staff member or a guest of a staff member. And again, staff members have the ability to bring people in and move them through. Once you're staff, you have that ability. I don't think they're hiding it. I do genuinely think they're trying to find who it was. So in light of this event, in your view, do you think the Secret Service needs to re-examine its security protocol? No, because how are you going to find that? If you're looking at a little teeny packet, somebody could put that anywhere they want on them. The goal is to check for weapons. The goal is to check for things that you can check for. It's protecting the, the, the White House. Now, if staff members or I guess if a staff member is bringing their personal little packet of drugs on the White House grounds, that really goes to show who are the quality of people moving in and out. Checking that on somebody is a very difficult thing to find, no matter what checkpoint you go to.
All right, Evie Pomporis, thank you for your insight. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.